To this big bro on here this time. Gonna get it going. We out here so on, on the nine. Messing with the old step side. Gonna give it another whirl. First start. Wait it down just a little bit. No, hold on. Oh. I can tell you, every time it's gonna die. Go ahead, wait. I know. Live action, baby. Live action. Oh, that it might be that. It, it might be that cam loafing in there. I don't know, man. It, uh, sound like a little level there. Hold on. Y'all must have did something, because this ain't supposed to be in here. Huh? One way to ten. Oh, now that's just a die. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what? Saying ain't so. Saying it's not so. Yes, sir. Saying ain't so. <laughs> no. No, man. No, 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 no. I know that. Still, hey, still running. No still running. Your know, Uncle Pete said, always check the gas level. <laughs> you too. Hey man. <laughs> you all running. Hey. Man. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get my gauges and stuff back in there. 
What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Connor, back with Muscle Addiction, man. If you're new to the channel, you don't know a survive, make sure you stop this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. It's another day we out here, YouTube fam. Muscle Gang, how y'all doing today, man? Trying to get this video shot. As y'all can see, we got overcast in the back. It's looking real gloomy out. Y'all can see we got clouds out here. But uh last time we was out here, um I had um showed y'all my uh my truck. Um give y'all a good look at the car right now. Yep, 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 yep. Got my uncle and pops in the back. We just out here chilling. But yeah, this is gonna be a video of me introducing, um, really just give, actually not introducing, but giving a good overview of this truck right here. Showing y'all exactly um, the origin of it, how I got it and stuff like that. So, um, Y'all give me just a second. This truck's coming through. Jake break. Coming through. I gotta make my video just that much better coming through. But uh, but yeah, man. Got my vehicles here right now, man. Y'all good uh walk around the truck again. I've been working on it and uh I I man, y'all YouTube. I spent all day yesterday doing some extensive work, but like I say, I'm gonna give y'all the, the the whole rundown on that here in a second. But uh, but yeah, like I said, just we out here. But um, this is my uh my 1990 GMC man Sierra. It's got a Chevrolet clip on it. It's like that whenever I first got it. So that's what that's about. Um, so sooner or later I'm gonna probably get like a um, 96 and up uh, 96 and up model grill uh, to put in here and uh, stuff like that uh, I got this truck whenever I was a uh, sophomore I think in high school I think I was working at Kroger at the time and I bought it from my aunt for $350 yep $350 that was back whenever you could get vehicles for that cheap but uh, I guess you can call it a family discount. But yeah, like I say I uh, got one of these. It's been so long since so I got these. 235 Sydney 15s on here. Uh, white letters, rallies. I think these are probably like uh, seven or eight inch on the front. And then I got, uh, I think like nine or 10 inch rallies on the back. Uh, I had them painted once upon a time. And these are 275, 60s, 15s on the back. But, uh, yeah, I put aftermarket tail lights in here too, way back when. I said, I had I had dated this truck for like a year. Um, back in like, let me get this to you. Right here, you two, 2017. By 20, uh, 2017, I had it uh, registered. I drove for a year because I, I needed some transportation, so I had got it ready to daily. So I had got everything, all my lights and stuff like that, you know. So real clean truck, man, for for the, for the year, stuff like that. The inside of it, real clean. Real clean. I mean, like I say, for for the year anyway. Dash don't have any cracks in it. Stuff like that. Headliner, it needs to be redone. But uh, surprisingly, the lights still work up here. Like I said, it's a real clean truck, man. Jumper seat, everything with the with the with the uh, cloth seats and stuff. So. Y'all know about that, but uh, what I was talking about, what I was doing yesterday, um, I had an incident happen, and uh, while I was gone away, uh, I had some stuff get stolen out of my truck, so I had to go 
and rewire everything up so that's what i was doing yesterday i got everything working so um i had to rewire my stereo gauges i got those uh pretty pretty well i mean i gotta go in and clean my wires up down here and stuff so it's just temporary right now just to make sure i wired up everything stuff like that but when i tell you guys the history of this truck is so crazy y'all look at this this is like a mess waiting to happen a fire hazard you know so i'm just really adding to it but i got all these hooked the fuses and stuff it looks bad but i got all hooked the fuses and stuff so that's good but <clears throat> one day eventually i'm gonna go in and clean all this stuff up up here so, in the meantime i'll just leave it like that but got a gt grand steering wheel on it y'all that know about this y'all know this is a classic right here man well these are some uh digital uh not digital but uh electric not mechanical all these are electric uh gauges they come from a marine like a boat for a boat because i like the the gauge style of it like how big they were so I had something similar to these. That's why I went with that style. And uh, like I said, I had to put my tack right here because where I had my old one mounted, it was, uh, I, I couldn't find the screw for it. So I had to put this right here. And uh, yeah, so man, this uh, this truck before, I, before my aunt had it, uh, I think it had a big block in it. It had a big block in it. And, uh, as y'all can see, it had the frame cut right here. This is like the most jank stuff ever. But I had <clears throat> seen this. So this is going to be a future repair that's going to need to be done. Because the frame is obviously weak right here. In case of an accident, this is going to be a first to go. But I need to get this um, repaired. Because, uh, like I said, as you know, big blocks, the fuel pump sits up a little bit further. So, they had to notch the frame right there. They didn't have to, but they had to. So, anyway. But, um, anyway, man, this is a 350. Whenever I got the truck, it didn't have a um, running engine. I can't remember what engine was in it, but it, was, it wasn't running at all. The transmission, and it was like a... 200 metric or something like that I, I think that's what they call it. but uh it had that in there so I, I pretty much had to go in and put a uh, transmission and motor in there so it gave me a, a perfect opportunity to build so like i said this was right around whenever i was in high school and stuff like that i've been building on this truck for years youtube so um it's just this is my baby man this is my first vehicle that i ever bought with my own money and built with my own money so it's got a lot of sentimental value to it but um anyway man uh, this is a 350 board 40 over um vortex heads that's that's got um 600 lift springs in it and <sighs> let me see yeah i think that's pretty much with the heads not really too much uh but i got them sent to a shop and got them worked on way back when but uh i went and put these retro style valve covers on um need a new air cleaner like i said it is <clears throat> it's, it's, it's been uh been going but like i said i showed y'all you know the top part of that because the last time i think i was shooting this i think i was trying to get it running and i put that carburetor on there um but yeah I mean, really not too much. Uh, the transmission on it, I built that transmission whenever I got out of college. Uh, for y'all that don't know, I went to Wyo Tech. And, um, I said uh, I graduated uh, with my associates in automotive technology. So I had a little bit of uh, mechanic intentions running through my blood whenever I got out. So whenever I got out, I ended up uh, rebuilding this transmission that was in here, which is a Turbo 3. Um, put a shift kit in it and stuff. Um, did it all. Me and my uncle put it to, put it in there and stuff. And uh, man, this thing shifts so hard it will snap your neck in second gear. 
So, man, I think we did pretty good in it. But, I mean, that's really with the motor, everything. I mean, it's running, running motor. I don't think this thing got 3,000 miles on it. So, you know, like I told y'all, this truck never left my hometown. So, it just, just stay here. Real big radiator on it. So, never have any problems with cooling. But, um, yeah. That's the truck. Let y'all hear it. My gauges, I gotta <clears throat> rewire my volt gauge because I wired it up wrong. Uh, I don't have my temperature gauge wired up yet because I have to get a new uh, sensor since I went to electric because my old uh, my old setup I had this on here I'm going to get the electric sensor put on there so I can have that wired up but let y'all hear it I got a dual format, a Flowmaster 40 series on it, dump. Y'all uh, don't mind the, don't mind the, the exhaust hanging and stuff like that. I had to get that fixed and stuff, but it's just now starting to rain, YouTube. But I just wanted to shoot this video, man, and uh, tap back in with y'all. I'm gonna put in the uh, other clips of uh, whenever I um, first got it back running and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make it real nice for y'all. But this is my truck, man. This is this is, this is my baby. All right, see, so it still need a whole lot of work. I think I need to do a little bit of tuning on the carburetor because uh, it's not taking gas all the way, but. That's it, man. That's my my truck right here, man. My baby. Let's see if I can get y'all a, a rev. Let's see if I can get somebody to hold the camera for me. Appreciate it, pop. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to shout out. The big shine. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Yes, oh, sir. Man. No That's where it all started right here, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my baby right here, though, man. Yeah, man. I'm finna get ready to end this video, man. Uh, just real short and sweet, man. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, browse the channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers, man. Thank you. Y'all stay tapped in, man. Most Edition signing out. Yes, sir.